Talked about Barlow. He was fantastic in the last outing. These types of outings. Ball's hit to center. Canarella coming on, and he will let it drop for a hit. The Spartans, in terms of stolen bases, they attempt about two a game. There's a line drive caught by Purify. There's a plus one for the defensive alignment. Barlow gets him there. Cheater's proof. <laughs> Been a big lift. Runners moving. Strike three call, doesn't matter. He's safe at second, but it doesn't matter. He froze him with a breaking ball on the outside corner. Did not pitch much over the weekend as you see Canarella do what he does. <laughs> He went 0 for 4 Sunday, so you knew that was going to happen. I can tell you that many times this year, their entire infield has been shortstops. There's a swing and a tip into the mid. The ball and hitting the ball. That's a big fly down the left field line. Taylor is going to watch it go out of here. First pitch swing and right on cue, Noah Sullivan delivers a home run to left, and it's the Spartans on top, 1-0. His ninth of the year. It was a fastball on the inside part of the plate. A sinker that is about waist high. And you mentioned how important it is for Barlow to keep the ball down. I'm not even sure it's a strike, but you're right. He was looking for a pitch and he got it. Home run number nine for Sullivan. RBI 35. Barlow's payoff. Oh, good pitch. Strike three called like that back to center Canarella makes the catch mm. that ball was hit well to the deepest part of the park it and was. it just held it balls hit get to the spot look up and the balls there yeah Blake Wright in the inning runs I mean he, he's really been a, a good contributor oh nice snag on the short hop Hamilton again gets the out and That's sort of right. changed the dynamic in the infield. Exactly. I think this ball's hit well. Center field backing. Jernan looks and it's out of here. The response from Clemson as Nolan Naraki connects on his third home run, his fourth home run rather of the year. And we're tied at one. Boy, what I love about this is this this is a 91 mile an hour fastball right down the middle. And he doesn't pull it. He times it perfectly and drives it straight back to the pitcher and over the pitcher's head and out of the park. That's really a good piece of hitting. Well done. Force the coaches to make a change. To Ooh. Hopper. Another nice snag there by Hamilton. Send him out there again. I think if he gets through this inning easily. That ball's hammered. Left center field. Park is not going to hold it. Jacob Gerald's second home run of the year. And it's the Tigers on top now, two to one. Yeah, fastball up and in. And with two strikes, he does a great job of not only protecting the plate, but really shortens up and gets the fat part of the bat on the ball. As you can see, really gets that front foot down. High fly ball, deep left field. Did he do it again? It's fair and it's gone. And we're tied at two. Noah Sullivan bombs a breaking ball out of here for his second home run of the day. He's now the fourth Spartan with double figure homers. And as you mentioned, it was a breaking ball on the inside part of the plate. And once again, you know, the, the hard thing there is to keep that pitch fair. And he does a great job of getting his hands inside of the ball and driving it out of here. Dangerous hitter to be in a fastball count, and that's ball four. Shot through the right side. That's a base hit. Stopping at second is Sherrod. At least he came into this ball game. Whoa. High fly ball left field. Taylor racing back and over, and he will watch it sail out of here. A three-run shot 
on an 0-2 pitch by Tyler Lang. And USC Upstate leads by a score of 5-2. Uh, he went to the he went to the well once too often with that with that fastball. It was up and away from Lang. And it, he did a great job of getting his hands above the ball and drove that to left center field. McGurnick in a 3-0 hole. Sheehan going to be patient. That's ball four. Runner moving, swing and a miss, throw down. He's safe at second base. And the first base dugout is saying, yep, batter's yep. interference. And so both hitter and runner will be out. And the inning will be over. It seems like pretty textbook interference right yeah. there. And he knew it, too. Bring him in and get an inning. That ball's hit well, well hit. left center field. Left fielder back. It is gone. Cam Canarella. Yeah. A two-run shot and a yell into the dugout to boot as the lead is down to one here in the seventh. Well, we told you he could move runners. Yeah. We didn't know he was going to move them all the way in. That Purify was off and running with, with the pitch, and it's a fastball that is really down the middle, and Canarilla sits back there and just drives with that beautiful swing of his, and he has surprising power. You know, he's not a really a big guy, but, boy, he's got some electric hands and drove the ball the other way. and Close pitches from Hodgson. This ball's lifted to right. That's going to carry. Does it have enough? We're tied at five. Boy, that's just, that's just power. Jimmy Obertop. Oppo Taco Tuesday. <laughs> and we're tied at five apiece. I mean, this is a fastball on the inside just off of of center a little bit in and look at that power going the other way he got it on the good part of the bat and he sat back and drove it and what a swing i think that's really the one of the big differences in baseball over the last 20 years is you see opposite field home runs like crazy you never used to see them all run scored via the home run that's eight for Obertop. This ball's down the line. Blake Wright found the corner. He's going for two, and he's going to be there easily. And the Tigers far from done here in the seventh inning. Team with four runs scored and four RBIs. And this ball's busted to right center, but it'll hang up and be caught by Jernan. Here's a 3-0. Oh, ball four low. Line drive. Down in the gap for a hit. Heading to second. And he's going to slide him with the double is Reinhardt. You know, I mean. Bouncer right off his glove fair. Nobody can advance. Fly ball left center field. That's well hit. Canarella's back. And it's a grand slam for Kobe Croft. First pitch swinging. Crop hits his ninth of the year. And USC Upstate leads nine to five. Well, we talked about this relentless offense that USC Upstate has. And boy, are they ever happy. There's some excited young men there. But it's a fastball that's kind of up. And he just drove it. Yeah, that, that ball's up. He hit that one-handed. Yeah, these guys are strong. And this is not, this park is not playing real small today. The meat of this order again in the ninth inning. That's a four-pitch walk issued by Hughes. Jernan waits on the 2-2 from Allen. Check swing on a ball in the dirt. He did go around. And Gerald's got to throw down to first, and he does. He converts the strikeout Sunday. Swing and a miss. <laughs> Gerald strikes out for the third straight time since his home run. Tie the game just the three pitches later.
Ground ball to short. Two away. He's thrown to break and pitch for strikes. Swing and a miss. That's it. And the Spartans win it. Coming into today, Clemson had beaten USC Upstate twice by a combined score of 23 to 7 this season. And the Spartans answer with a 9-5 victory